everyone, the Sheep Killer here, and welcome to a new type of video. This is going to be my top 10 favorite Pokemon. A lot of you have probably wanted to know this for a while, and keep in mind this, li this list is my opinion, so if your favorite Pokemon is on here, well, that's just my opinion, not yours, so don't worry about it. Also, keep in mind that this isn't going to be, like, super well edited like other YouTubers, like like a Ryzo or the Aura Guardian or Psycho. It's just gonna be how I like to do things. So, let's get on with this list. Starting off with number 10 on this list, we have Skarmory. You know Skarmory, the armored bird Pokemon. I've always found Skarmory to be a very cool Pokemon. It's just He just really stuck out to me, and he does pretty well in, in battles as well, in competitive and casual. He has a very great move pool as well. Very strong physical attacker and physical defense. And also his design is just very good. I'm not gonna be one of those people that that says that earlier Pokemon designs like Gen 1, Gen 2 were better than the newer ones, but Skarmory's does stick out throughout the Gen 2 Pokemon. And why hasn't he gotten a Mega yet? Come on, Masuda. Do it for do it for Sun and Moon. Give Skarmory a Mega. Do it. And for number nine on this list we have Pidgeot. I started with I started using Pidgey in Pokemon Leaf Green, and before then I hadn't really used him that much. But then on part four of my Leaf Green series, I managed to get my hands on the shiny Pidgey. And man is it, and man does it have an awesome design. Also Pidgeot is pretty decent in battles. And it even got a Mega Evolution Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire to make it even better. And it has a and has a pretty decent moveset as well. And its design, not even including its shiny form, is just amazing. And for number 8, we have Venusaur. Bulbasaur was the Pokemon I chose on my Pokemon Leaf Green save. And I, I literally never even tried to use Bulbasaur before then. And I realized that the grass starter in Kanto is the best one to choose, and Venusaur is a really good Pokemon. He's very bulky, can stall out opponents, and, and became even better with his Mega Evolution Pokemon X and Y, with a thick fat ability. Basically meaning it only it had two weaknesses now instead of four. So Venusaur is just a great Pokemon overall, and the grass starter in Kanto is definitely the best one. And for number seven on this list we have Sceptile, not pronounced Skeptile. Sceptile is just a really cool Pokemon. Its design is amazing. Its stats are okay. I mean, it'd be better if it had higher physical attack than special attack. Considering it has more physical moves than special moves. Yeah, it's a very strange Pokemon when it comes to that. But when it comes to design and how it performs in battle, it is amazing. And with its Mega Evolution and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it's even better. Septa Mega Sceptile just looks so cool. And it becomes Grass Dragon. Stab Dragon Claw and Dragon Pulse. That is amazing. He's also the very first Grass Dragon Pokemon in the series. Which further proves the point that he is on this spot on the list. And for number 6 on this list we have Lucario. Lucario's design is really cool. And well, that's obvious. He's also a very popular Pokemon and made it into Smash and starred in his own movie before he even debuted in the, in the main series Pokemon games. That just proves how awesome Lucario is. Also, he is very amazing in battle. And he is one of the first Pokemon shown to have a Mega Evolution. And his Mega Evolution looks really cool and is amazing in battle. And unlike Sceptile with its confusing stats, Lucario can, can be easily ran as either a physical attacker or a special attacker. Because the, their stats are basically equal. Also with the ability, adaptability, and its mega form, it gets double stab. And stab is always good, especially on Pokemon with great move pulls like Lucario. And Lucario is just a great Pokemon overall. It's And it's blue too. Blue's nice. None of the Pokemon I mentioned on this list have, have yet to be blue, well except technically Venusaur. I don't, I'm not really a fan of Lucario's shiny form though. All of the other shinies on this list are decent. Well, not really. Sceptile and Venusaur are pretty terrible. But Skarmory and Pidgeot are alright. And Lucario's is pretty bad, but its regular design is cool. And that's always a good thing. And for number 5 on this list, we have Swampert. He's one of my favorite starter Pokemon of all time. And, and my playthrough of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, he absolutely dominated. 
Also, my Swampert and Pokemon Glaze is pretty good as well. Swampert is a very good Pokemon, and its Mega Evolution just makes it look even better. And it performs way better. Swampert is a very cool designed Pokemon, and like and like a lot of other Pokemon on this list, its shiny form is pretty terrible. But its regular form is amazing. And also, blue, again. Also, water type, which is one of my favorite types. Also, with that part ground type, Earthquake is just gonna destroy everything. Except for flying types. But yes, Wombert is just an amazing Pokemon, and it could and it, and it could dominate a lot of things. Also, like with, like with basically every other Pokemon on this list, its move pool is amazing, and it can have it can easily have an ideal move set. Just slap the Swampert Eye onto it, give it a Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and Hammer Arm, and you're ready to go. And for number four, we have Torterra. Torterra is my favorite starter Pokemon of all time. There's not gonna be any more starters on this list. But Torterra is an amazing Pokemon. Its design is really cool. And it's called the Constant Pokemon. You can't get better than that. Also, the part ground, Earthquake is gonna destroy, just like with Swamperts. Basically my second time ever using Torterra, Turtwake, ever, in a, in a Pokemon game was my po play in my playthrough Pokemon Glazed. And Torterra is just really good. You cannot deny how awesome this Pokemon is. And also you can use that curse and give it leftovers, and it can destroy. This Pokemon doesn't even need a Mega. Number three is Vaporeon. He is by far my favorite evolution ever. You cannot get better than this Pokemon when it comes to evolutions. Yeah, yeah, Jolteon is a fast, special attacking sweeper. Vaporeon, it's got that bulk, and it's got decent offense as well. And it's blue, and like with every other Pokemon on this list, except for the first two, it has a terrible shiny design, but it's a really good Pokemon, and like I said, blue. And it's got a pretty, pretty decent moveset, and it can stall out like crazy, just like with Torterra. And with that pure water type, it's only gonna have two weaknesses. And both those types are main, have mainly special attacks, and you know, you can just raise that special defense, and your threats are basically erased. Vaporeon is a great Pokemon, and I highly recommend if you have access to Eevee on your Pokemon game, you slap it onto your team. Vaporeon is really good, and my third favorite Pokemon of all time. And for number two, we have Typhlosion. Remember when I said Torterra was my favorite starter Pokemon? I lied. Typhlosion is my favorite starter Pokemon. Typhlosion is a very cool Pokemon. And its name is cool too. It's a mix of typhoon and explosion. You can't more you can't get more amazing and epic than that. Typhlosion's design is just awesome, and it's and it's a fire type. Fire types are always cool. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. Also, it does really good in battles. It can destroy almost anything in its path. After all, it is based off a of honey badger. And all of this Pokemon doesn't really need it because of how busted it already is. It would be very cool to see Typhlosion finally get a Mega Evolution. I can't tell starters and Hoenn starters did, so I think that the Jota starters are, are... They're deserving of one too. Even if they don't need it, because of how good they are. And for number one on this list, we have Raichu. A few of you probably already know that Raichu is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And here's why. Raichu is a very cool looking Pokemon, and unlike a lot of Pokemon on this list, it actually has a pretty cool shiny design. And also, it does pretty decent in battle. And it's very fast, and and has pretty good attacks, just like with Jolteon. Except he is slightly weaker, but I still like Raichu more because, because of the nostalgia. I've used Raichu a lot on my teams, even a lot outside of my Let's Plays. So you know that, that I am attached to Raichu because it's just how good a Pokemon he is. And also, he's the evolved form of Pokemon's mascot, so... Really, what do you got to hate about him? Sure, he's overshadowed by Pikachu, but he's still a good Pokemon. And also, like I mentioned before, he doesn't need a me Like I mentioned in my... in my theory video, he needs a Mega. Desperately. After all, compared to a lot of other Pokemon, he's pretty bad. Even though he's decent, he's pretty bad compared to others. So give him a Mega. Come on, Masuda. Do it. So that is going to be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that top 10 video. Now you know what my top 10 favorite Pokemon are. So I will see you all in, in the next video. Happy hunting!